All right, uh, this is with Mike Quinnell. I, I guess take us through when you walk out and you see all this going on, what goes through your mind that uh, you're at the Super Bowl now? Um, I mean, definitely just take in every moment. I mean, just, I mean, at the end of the day, just look at this, man. It's, it's just a blessing to be here. And, and I know that, you know, this is going to be a special moment um, in history, especially in Kansas City. And just want to just take it all in and not forget it. Can you take us back to like October? when what was going on in your career to land in Kansas City and now to be in the spot you're in? Yeah, I mean, October, uh, you know, my career was up and down. I was in between if I was going to retire, keep playing or not, you know. But, you know, by the motivation of my family and, you know, the belief, you know, with my agents and everybody like that, you know, decided to keep going, had a few workouts and ended up in KC and just, you know, really, you know, thought I, once I get my next opportunity to take advantage of it and uh, just glad I can do that here. You've been an unsung hero. You're a guy that a lot of people point at and go, one of the more underrated players on this team of, with that Brett Beach brought in. Why do you think you know you were out there available for the Chiefs to bring in? Because you've been good and you've graded out really well in the uh, pro football focus, the numbers. Why do you think there was uh, you being overlooked? Um, I think this, you know, in, in this business, there's just questions that can't be answered sometimes, man. So you know, I would rattle my head with that question all the time, like you know, see guys and be like, oh, maybe I'm supposed to be here, be that. But just you know, I knew that I was going to get my opportunity, and then once I had that opportunity, I had to take advantage of it. And it's more or less just you know showing people because I mean you know they can write what they want PFF can do what they want but until people see it on a game or see it consistently then they're not gonna remember it so did you get a good vibe when you met Spags and and get a feeling that this was gonna work for you once you got acclimated with the defense I mean most definitely uh, I knew his history him being the two previous Super Bowls and all the great players that he's coached you know what I mean so it's a system that's proven to work um, and I think with him just coming in here, you know, coming to me as a player, like being able to talk to him, what I see, what I don't see with the playbook and everything like that, I just think that that's what the made the relationship gel and that's what has, you know, led us up to have continued success. You're a guy on this team that's here to stop the run. How frustrating or annoying or how much do you hear when people are saying, look, Derrick Henry, he's going to gain 180. Derrick Henry's going to get his. Like how much does that motivate you when you're going up against the team? that again wants to run the football. I mean, I love it. I mean, to be honest, as a competitor, like you said, you know, I'm here to stop the run. So, you know, when, when the challenge like that is presented, I take it personally. So, um, you know, we have another great challenge coming in, and I'm going to prepare, you know, as hard as I can for the biggest game of my life. Can you take us back to when you were a kid rooting for the Chiefs? Oh, yeah. And now you're at the Super Bowl wearing all this all this Chiefs gear? I mean, I mean the Chiefs gear now is a little bit better. You know, the colorways got a little better. But, right. I mean, it's just it's just surreal, man. I can't, I can't put words into it. I mean, it's just... Being growing up, watching Saturday football, Neil Smith, Priest Holmes, Trent Green, everybody's just, you know, now to be in that uniform and contribute and, and take it to a game that we haven't had in 50 years, I mean, you know, you can't write it, man. Do people ever uh, mispronounce and say Penner instead of Pennell? <laughs> always. It's always uh, Pennell, Penner. You know, I, I mean, I, get, I I have fun with it, though. So man. I'm not the only one? No, you're good. Okay, very good. Because <laughs> we have fun on the show. I say Mike Pennell, not Penner. There we go. We say it all the time. The one thing that we also say is we think you have the biggest biceps on the team. Is that true? You know what? I like to be humble sometimes, but at this moment I'm going to take the humble cap off. I'm going to say yeah, man. Yeah. I mean, I, I work for these pythons, man. We also wanted to know, do you think your bicep is bigger than my thigh? It might possibly. You can take a look at it. You can look at the thigh. Oh, don't get shy. Don't get shy. You can look at I it. Mean, I don't know. I mean, it's. I, I mean, I'm going to take it. I'm going to take it. Man. I think you go. just by a, a, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. All right, last one for you. Any of your teammates you can be for a day, who are you choosing? Any teammate I could be for a day. Oh, man. Can I get two? Yeah. Can I get two? And on defense, I would have to be Frank Clark for a day, man. I have to be Frank Clark. <laughs> I think we'd all like to know what it was like to be Frank Clark you for a day. You know what I'm saying? On offense, I'd have to be Tyreek. I want to know how, how I want to know what it's like to be fast. I've never good run point. anything less than a 4.9, so, you That's know. Good point. I want to know what it's like to be fast. I want to know what it's like <laughs> to have those biceps. <laughs> right. <laughs> Mike, thank you, sir. Good thank luck, you. man. Appreciate it. Thank you so it. much. Appreciate you.